Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. In today's live video broadcast, it is coffee with me, Tish, and it's also our beginner sessions. Um, we do this every week and we just kind of learn new techniques, learn how to do experiments, learn how just how to not be afraid of paint. Okay. So without further ado, wow, my uh, stuff is really crazy right now. Hang on a second. <laughs> okay. Stop. How do I get this? This phone is being wonky. It just tipped all of a sudden. So <laughs> now it's all sideways. Why are you sideways? Blessed thing. Okay. There we go. <laughs> so first off, before we start, I need to give a shout out to my daughter, Ariana. It is her birthday today. So happy birthday, Ari. My little nan is holy Hannah. I don't even want to say how old she is because that'll date me. <laughs> Anywho, happy birthday, Nana. Love you. Um, so I'm putting my coffee in the back counter because I don't want to get paint in it. So who else do we got here? Uh, well, Sue is at work. So good day, Sue. Howdy, howdy, Sue. And hello, Sh Cheryl. Good morning, Cheryl. Good morning, Doris. Good morning, Gina. Good morning, Jeff. Yay, and good morning, Kendra. Wonderful to see you here. So today we're gonna go through um, how I, this is how I do it. Now, is this the only way you can do it? No, it's not, because you know what? Art is wonderful that way you can do it however you want and you get the results you want. So <clears throat> when I get to the bottom of a bottle and there is not enough for a painting, um, I like to take the the remainder of that and mix it with something else and make a bigger batch of that color so this is liquitex basics medium magenta which is a lovely color but since i don't use pink all that often um and when i do i usually use it as a metallic or you know what i can make my own pink i can just take or my own light magenta by adding some white to it by adding a little bit of red to it, you know, I can change the colors. So I probably won't use this color again. So I'm gonna get the most out of this bottle as I can. So I've already shaken it up and I've had it sitting upside down, trying to drain as much out of it because I'm frugal when it comes to paint. <laughs> I buy the good paint for a reason because I love the boldness of the colors and everything. Um, but sometimes I just, I don't need this. But I want the bottle back because here in Illinois, I can't find these bottles. I've been crying. It's like, I just want my bottles. Anywho, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, turn on my scale. And I'm going to find out how much paint we got in here. And now this is mixed already with Floetrol. So it should be about the right consistency. And let me, I was working on some other projects this morning. So let's see. Let's make sure that, yep, we're on. And I don't know why it's saying negative one, but we're going to tear it up. And then we're going to dump this in there, if I can get it open. My hand strength is returning, though. That's awesome. So what I'm going to do is figure out how much paint we got in here. And watch out for gloobs, because there is a gloob hanging on right there. So you gloob, because gloobs happen. So it looks like we've got about... One point, well, it's still going up. 1.4 ounces, so an ounce and a half. And because I am me, that's why I have paper here. Um, I write it down, 1.4, okay? So then what we're gonna do is tip that back up. Put the marker away. We're gonna remove the glues so they don't get in our paint. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bottle and we're going to mix this because I found um, that this pearl hot pink so I'm going to mix that in there um, 
I've used this before. I actually have a bottle of it right here, but I wanted to see what my ratio was. I mixed it two to one. So I'm going to mix two to one, but we're going to take the full troll and we're going to put it in this bottle and we're going to shake it up and get the right uh, remainder of that. Okay. So I'm going to tear this out. Come on, baby. There we go. Good morning, Tracy, or should I say good evening over there in Australia? And if you're new to the channel, let me um, welcome you. And um, if you're enjoying our little creative vibe here and want to join a creative tribe, please click that subscribe. Um, I'm on the road to 1K, so we just that's my goal is by the end of October to be at 1,000. I'd love to hit it sooner. But, okay, so we're going to do two ounces of Floetrol in here, and maybe a little bit more, because we're going to clean out the bucket here is what I call it. And this is, this is my, like, super uber frugal tip on how to do this. And I will share, I will share with you another super frugal tip as well here as soon as I get this done. So we're going to take this and we're going to eat. Peel off the gloobs because gloobs happen. And this is kind of a messy situation, but that's okay. It looks like really dark Pepto-Bismol. So we're going to take this and we're going to shake it up. And we're going to put this back on there and okay, so let's see where we're at. Yep, that's about right. I'm going to scrape this little bit up and put that in there too. Why not? It's clean. <laughs> Out again. All right. So we got two ounces of Floetrol, and then we add one ounce of this paint. It's almost there. Come on, baby. There we go. We hit two. So you can see that it's lighter now and that we've gotten most of the paint up there. But I'm going to put the lid back on it. I'm going to keep it upside down. And we, I'll add the end of, add, add that to the end when I'm all done cleaning up. And then I'll just squirt that little bit in there. Um, so. We've got two ounces, so we need to go up to three with the pearl. There we go. Bloop and a bloop. And we got three. So, um, my suggestion, I didn't see it normally on my bottles. I don't know if you can see this because I wrote it in purple, but it says Arteza Pearl Hot Pink. My ratio is two to one. It's a semi-transparent or semi-translucent. And then I also put um, what I do my trace to. It's a three to four. So it's a, on the thicker side of three. So I know that in this bottle, I've got my normal pouring stuff. Now, like this one, um, this is... Master's Touch Liquid, um, the liquid acrylic, the, the ones that come in the bigger bottles, um, in titanium white, and that's one part. And then I have Color Place White Satin, three parts, and then I did one-to-one -one flow troll to paint. And this is my experiment bottle because I want to see if that does the same effects as the regular titanium that comes in the um that comes in the squeezy bottle so good morning positive candor wonderful to see you okay so we're gonna use that today 
and we're going to put this aside. <clears throat> but that's how I keep copious notes. I mean, I have notebooks filled with different recipes, not only for my pouring, but for um, furniture painting, cooking, baking. I take notes, 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 lots of notes, um, things that I would change at the end, that kind of thing. But one thing that I really love is record yourself. Hook up your phone and record yourself and talk it out to yourself. Yes, you can talk to yourself. It's okay. I do it all the time. Um, talk it out to yourself. And um, that way, if you need it, it's there. You don't have to post it to YouTube. You don't have to do it. There's not, nothing saying you have to do anything. So let's give this a stir. And then I'm going to bring over, um, turn this off somehow. There we go. Okay, I'm going to say this is one from Walmart. Don't buy it. It's kind of crappy. I need to have, <laughs> I need to get a new scale because that thing's kind of crappy. But it works when it wants to, kind of like my ex-husband. But um, one of the things that I was going to say is you want to um, try and keep, like this one I didn't have on the bottle, what transparency it is, if it's opaque, if it's semi-translucent and or translucent um i usually write that on the bottle because i'll after i get done with the bottle i squeegee every last drop out of them um and after i throw it away i forget to write it down so i put it right on the bottle and that way i have it and that's why i have so much written on my bottles and that's why i value my bottles um even some of these cups i'll, I'll write right on the lid you know, two to one, three to one. Um, and since these are mostly um, craft paints because they're Arteza, they don't give if it's translucent, translucent, opaque, or semi-opaque. So we're just going to stir this up. No folding, just stirring. And I'm kind of, whoa, not trying to, not trying to get it over the edge. There we go. It's okay. I'm wearing my paint clothes eat, sleep, and shop in my paint clothes. Okay, so we can see that this is really thick. So what I'm going to do, I have to stir this up a little bit more. Sometimes it's just not stirred good enough. So turn your, I mean, turn your cup, turn your, whatever you're mixing in, scrape the sides. And stir, stir, stir. Good morning, Jan. Um, one thing that I did want to talk about today, too, is um, I do have a Patreon. And I appreciate anybody who does at the 3 to $5 level. But um, I do have higher tiers, um, one of which is... Um, a $45 tier, which basically um, gives me the opportunity to be your one-on-one -on -one instructor. Um, if you want to take like a month's worth of classes kind of thing, um, that way, you know, for a month or for six months, however long you need me, um, and we can talk about not just acrylic pouring, but furniture painting and baking and cooking and all the, those things. It just makes me um, available to you, you know, not at any hour, obviously. Um, but it gives you the opportunity to kind of pick my brain kind of thing. Um, because I'm not monetized yet. Oh, there's a loop in there. See, loop happens. Because I'm not monetized yet, I can't do memberships. So this is my way of doing memberships. Let's see. Go away, loop. Oh, there was two of them. Oh, they're multiplying. I gotta get them out of there before they take over like triples. Okay. Is that another loop or is that a piece of paint? I'm not sure, so we're just gonna take that out of there. There we go. 
This is also your opportunity to check consistency. Actually, we're pretty good now. I am going to put a little bit of full troll and water in here as soon as I can find my bucket. There we go. I'm messy this morning. Oh, wait, I'm messy every day. So anyway, and even if you don't want necessarily, hey, I got gloops in here too. Goodness gracious. There's gloops everywhere. Um, even if you don't want to do the $45 level or, you know, $20 level or whatever, um, you know, $3 a month helps me um, pay for StreamYard, helps me keep me in paint. And it's, it's just an easy way to help out. Um, if you appreciate the, the, the things that I do on the channel, it just helps me um, create for you. So, um, and, and since YouTube is fickle <laughs> and I need to be monetized before I can have memberships, um, this is my way of, of helping you help yourself. The way I kind of look at it. There we go. Gloop gone. All right. This is why I have this wire here. I love this little piece of wire. I have a it has a little handle I, that I twisted the end on, but it also works really well for like swiping in paint, like doing a spot swipe. Um, but it also helps me clean out the gloops in the bottles. So I've had to resort to using these cups, which are five ounce cups, which is about a well, little under half. So about a third of what I can fit in a bottle. So it's okay though. I, I, I am grateful to have, oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this up so you can see the consistency and let me give it a little quick stir here. So I can still see some of the water sitting on top. And there's some paint globbers in there. I think that's just regular paint. So they're going to kind of squish. I always squish them on the side because <laughs> this cup is really full. And so it's wanting to. That's one downfall. You can strain it after you mix it just to make sure you have no lumps. Um, but being as I have pastry chef experience, I'm really good at, at spotting them. Because there's nothing worse than filling your piping bag up with royal icing and finding out that you have clumps in it. Especially when you're working with a double odd tip. I usually strain that if I'm going to be using that. But see, yeah, we got lots of gloops in here. I wonder if that's the full troll. Because that full troll has been sitting for a day or two. Could be, could be. But I'm good. I'm happy with it now. Okay, so here we go. So for those of you who are new, I mixed my paints to a trace of three. And what that means is I take my stick and I, I use these bigger sticks because it's easier to tell than the little popsicle sticks. These are more like tongue depressors. Um, but I pick up some paint and I swirl it around. Oop, that didn't work and I watch it to disappear. So I do one, two, three, and I, all that paint disappears. With metallics, it's a lot harder because it's gonna leave, you can still even see that little wrench. So what I do is I hold it up. Okay, this is gonna get really in your face, but <laughs> I hold it up at eye level and then I swoop it around and I watch for that edge of the paint to go flat. Because you, if you hold it at eye level, you can, I think I just got pink paint on my face. That's awesome. So you can see the edge flatten out. Okay, so this is one, two, three, and it's about three and a half. And I do the first one at one, because if it's a trace of one, then you've got your Dutch pour paint. Okay, so we got pink. We're gonna use this green, because I love this green gold. We're gonna use this yellow. I've, I don't know. I just, I love the way this has re been reacting lately. And this is um, a combination of golden fluid acrylic green gold and chartreuse Arteza pearl or pearl, 
pearl chartreuse by Arteza. There we go. And then this is the Arteza iridescent lemon yellow. And I'm going to go over to my little stash over there. <clears throat> Um, and pick out some other colors here. As I snap, crackle, and pop my way over. Um, what do we want to use? I think, I think we're going to use this purple and Dropping stuff. Okay. Let's bring all these over. So what I do when I get to the bottom of a cup, now some of these, one of these, these might have silicone in them, but like a drop for the whole thing. So um, what I do when I get to the bottom, like, let's see. I'll show you this one. Because <laughs> there's not much in there. I get to the bottom of the container and there's just that last little tiny bit. I will stack these up in color schemes and, and, and then mix them all together. So like this is a green mix. Um, it's got, it might have some iridescence. I think this is actually just straight up green, which is what I want. Um, and then this is a purple mix. So this has got color flash purple. This has got iridescent purple. This has got metallic purple and then this is a pink mix as well so this is more of a pastel pink and this one has just like titanium white and all those other colors in there so and it does have an iridescent one in there too so um but when they get to be like this empty i still want i still can use that paint because there's still paint in there but you know, you just scrape it all into one container and stir it up. And if, if it's something you like, use it. If it's not, then add something to make it what you like. You know, like this purple, I could have added more blue to it or more red to it. But I love this purple the way it is. The green is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and there's nothing saying you can't mix pouring mediums either. If you use glue in one, you use Floetrol in another. If you use Liquitex Basics in another. There's nothing saying you can't mix them all together. Who made that rule? Not me. I mean, is the paint police going to come arrest you for mixing pouring mediums together? No. You're going to get some interesting results, or it may fall flat. Who knows? I have had some of the best things come out of just playing with paint. So, I mean, this green is just really lovely, and it's a mix of phthalo green and a couple other greens that I had tried out and wasn't really keen on the color. So I mixed them all together, added a little bit of blue. I mean, just a drop. So, yep, we're at a three. So we're going to put these together. Let's get that out of the way. And I'm going to put, hmm, how am I going to do this? I want the pink to be last, the slight pink to be last, I think. Put this, and then this, and then this. I think we'll do the dark pink and the green together. That's okay with me. And then we're going to put that pearl between the two. Okay. So let's clean up our station here, my station here a little bit. Let's see, I need this. I don't need these guys. In fact, he can go put away. Have too much stuff in too little space and it gets crowded <laughs> roll over i'm crowded wasn't that the three the little bears on the bed and the little one said roll over i'm crowded you know what one two three four five six we need either take one away or put one another one in i like seven Seven is my bag. I'm gonna move these out of the way. Oh, 
Okay, so yeah, it's very Easter colors. I I am I don't know why I just I I was looking at a website where I'm going to order some vinyl, and they have one that's called Unicorn, and it has these colors in it. So it's like, ooh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to add this silver or this pewter, bring in a little bit of dark without being too dark. Because this is real, it's fairly dark, but it lightens up when you pour it. And this is a combination of, I just put the bucket away, of this Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents and some uh, uh, Liquitex Basics Gun Metal, I think it's called. Metallic, no, Metallic Graphite, that's what it is. But it's a really awesome dark silver. So we're just going to put a little bit in there to kind of break up those two because they might fight, you know, their siblings. <laughs> I never understood that dynamic. I'm trying. I'm really trying. But being an only child, kind of, I don't know. All right, sip of coffee, and then we're going to do this. Uh, uh, we're going to do a bottle bottom reverse dip pour. I'm going to put titanium white between some of the colors, but not all of them, just because I'm me and I'm a rebel. And this is crooked for some reason. Maybe it's just the, yeah, it's just the push pin. Hold the show. We're going to dust that. That didn't adjust it at all. There we go. We good now? Good-ish. It's not lovely anymore. Okay. Shake this up. You know what, Jan? We love you too, honey. Okay. So this is that liquid titanium white. I wish I could I wonder what I did with that bottle so I could show you. Oh, and I'm not going to slip over. I don't have it handy. I will post it to the Facebook group. I'll find it. Someone remind me because I forget these things. I've been really bad about that. I say, oh, I'm going to post it to the group, and then I forget because I have ADD. <laughs> and it's very apparent in my art sometimes. Okay, so we're just going to use this as a background color. I'm just going to use a regular titanium white mix. And where's my knife? There it is. And I miss my turntable. This makes it so much easier when you have a turntable. I'm going to push it up to the edge. We might need a little bit more. So if there's any questions or anything that you have for me, like do you have a certain technique? I'm not very good at balloon smashes or balloon anything balloon. Nothing. I am not. That is a Heather Mater thing. You need to talk to her. She will help you. She is the nicest lady ever. She's so sweet. Um, but... Um, I am going to go out today and get more tiles. So if there's anything that you want to see me pour on, if there's anything that you want to see, just let me know in the Facebook group. Let me just message me on Messenger. Um, just let me know because I don't have every technique down and, you know, I don't have resin down, but I do know the people to go to when I have resin questions. All right, let's smooth down these sides. That's the nice thing about having friends in the art world and, and friends that aren't in the art world that but do other things. It's like, okay, 
I need to have this. Who knows this stuff? Okay, so this is <clears throat> my bottle bottom. What I did, okay, so this is normally the bottom. And I, the paint pours down here, so I cut this up. I don't even know how far. Probably a quarter of an inch. And then I cut it out. You could go straight in, you could go straight across. It was easier for me with my little snippers to just do triangles. You don't have to do triangles and you don't even have to go that high. I just did because it was fast and easy. So I just tried to make sure that all of them had at least the same amount on each side. The one back there kind of is like the shorty. That's the shorty. Oh no, this one's a shorty. So I probably should go back in there and snip that one out. But anyway, play around. And this is just a push pin. Um, that I hot glued in there. I do have a video of how I built this. So um, I will put the link to that in the description box as well as the little I card, whichever side that goes on. Um, and that way you have something to grab onto instead of trying to, I, I have problems with big grasp, little grasp, I'm okay. So I'm gonna put this slightly off center because everything I do is slightly off center. And then we're just going to pour over this. So I'm going to put the green down. Give it a stir. And um, I kind of start off with a lot of paint for the, for the bigger petals. And then as I get towards the middle, I put less and less. So you just kind of get used to it. Practice, 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 practice. It's only paint, okay? And you don't need to be afraid of that. Oh, yeah, hey. One of the things that I was going to talk about is um, you get all these, like, craft bottles of paint. You know, the little bottles. There is nothing saying that you can't clean them out. And I use Floetrol and water, and I clean out a whole bunch of little bottles, and then I put them all together in one bottle. That's what these are. So I don't try and do it with the squeegee bottles because that's just a pain in the butt. But the little craft bottles, yeah, throw an ounce of, of Floetrol and water in there and shake it up and let it sit upside down for a little bit and then just mix them all together. Mix a whole bunch of different reds together and a bunch of blues together and a bunch, you know, pinks. I mix my reds with my pinks because I'm not a big fan of pink, so I don't have a lot of pink. So we're going to do this. And, you know, just be, you know, paint is expensive. Even craft paints can get expensive. But if you find ways to use it all. And then, so you have the Floetrol and water mix, right? And it's mixed with paint already. So when you have a, say you leave your paint out. We never leave our paint uncovered, right? <laughs> I've got, as I sit here doing this with polyacrylic over on the other table, sitting open, and I didn't realize it until I went to go look for paint. I'm like, gosh, Nikes. But, um, you know, use a little bit of that to to bring it back, you know, because it's full of trial water, but it's got a little color to it. And, and you can, you, or you can, or mix it with, <clears throat> Excuse me, or mix it with um, not plaster of Paris. What's that other stuff? Joint compound. Mix it with joint compound, and make your own texture paste for your paintings or your projects. You know, I mean, there's a hundred uses that you can use that stuff for. And you know, in order to stay, you know, on topic for my channel, um. That's what I stick with acrylic pouring. But man, if you could pick my brain for all the weird crap that I know, that is what Patreon is for. It's because I don't have to stay on topic there. We can talk about anything. And let her rip. Be silly. Be goofy. 
have a wine and paint night. That's what I want to do is, is, is start doing that kind of thing. I'm, I'm kind of fielding ideas. Michael and I have been talking and giving ideas on how to do things. So, cause we started a channel together. We haven't done anything with it. And when it's got some stuff content on it, well, I'll actually talk about it, but it's kind of our fun thing to do together. I know we're nerds. Most people go out to, you know, play bridge or play poker or go dancing. It's like, no, we're going to make a YouTube channel. <laughs> ah, we're weird. Okay, so let's pour this in here. We want to lighten up that gray a little bit. Get some cool effects going on. I'm really loving this metallic. I think when I go out today, I might stop at Menards and grab some more because I'm really loving this pewter. Okay, and let's bring our pink that we mixed up. Make sure we have no chunks, but there is a hair right there. How did that happen? Oh yeah, you have hair on your head, Tish. Oh yeah, and you have pets. Jeez, what do you gotta judge? I'm talking to myself. I do this all day long. I sit here and talk to myself. Not like a whole conversation. That would be weird. Well, wait, I do have conversations with myself. Sometimes you gotta play devil's advocate to your own ideas. But don't be overly critical. Because you know what? We're our own worst critics. And there went the drop. See how I do this? hear my fan running on my computer and I'm wondering why. And then the pink and then we're gonna flip it. Yeah, channel lurker. <laughs> I just, I haven't, that's my project for tonight, is to get all that stuff taken care of. I do have a Twitter, <laughs> just not Facebook or anything else yet. Okay, I'm kind of liking this pink. It's kind of, kind of mauve pink. About this, having a background as so you can get some of those drips off. Okay, straw. The straw that Michael brought me. I haven't, I need to snip up because that's what happens. Do you see? <laughs> I dip it in the paint. Okay, that's enough of that. Before I get all lightheaded. Okay, we're gonna pick this up and turn it around. There we go. And put a little bit of this white down. And I'm just gonna put it just a very little bit. More than I expected. It's okay. About the same size. Okay, now we'll start with the green. We're just going to do, let me use the stick because my hands are starting to hurt.
There we go. Hello, D and D Art Gallery. I'm trying to remember your name. I think it's Deb. I can't. Oh, I can't remember. I, I you know, I'm going to be honest with people. I'm, I'm totally transparency right here. The reason why my kids have so many names is because I can't remember their names, <laughs> and I gave them their names. So if I mess up on your name, please don't be offended. I do try and spell it right and pronounce it right once I know it. it may take me a minute, like Elisa, my darling dear. It took me forever to remember Elisa. And now I'm going to probably call the next person I meet that's Alyssa or Elisa or something. I'll be calling her Elisa because I'll be have that stuck in my head. Oh, I tripped. Oh, darn. Okay. There we go. This, that. Green, I love this chartreuse and green gold mixed together. It is amazing. Oh my gosh. I'm an art nerd, so don't mind me. I got all excited when Michael said that we could go to, what is it, Paducah, K Kentucky? It's like 45 minutes from here. He's like, we can go and go to Michael's. And I got all excited. I'm like, really? We can? We can? <laughs> it's like, Raya when I bring out her favorite toy. But I take it away because it gets annoying. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle all the time. Good golly, Miss Molly. Yeah. And then the white. Right? Yep. White and then the silver or the pewter. My paints are at a three. Um, I learned this technique from, um, I mean, really from a lot of different people, but the one that really truly inspires me is um, Fiona from Fiona Art. She's on YouTube. She's amazing. She's just adorable. Just, or as I say, adorable. And I've been trying to get her on Tish Talk, but with the time difference and as crazy busy as she's been, with all the things going on in her life, we just haven't, just haven't connected yet. It'll happen. <clears throat> It'll happen. I have faith. So, Art of Palooza last night was awesome. I did say, <laughs> I don't know why I said it, but I did, that if we get to 750 subscribers on the YouTube channel, we're going to do a drink a palooza where we have a drinking game going on. So, <laughs> things might have been better left unsaid. I shouldn't be even be saying anything about it because, yeah. As long as it's not shots, I'll be okay. <laughs> I metabolize things very quickly, which is mind boggling to me why I'm chubby. But hey, I'm getting there. Okay, and then this pink. I, I actually like this pink. Oh, there's another chunky monkey. I think that was just because it was at the bottom of the bottle. Now, when you're doing colors, don't be afraid to mix colors that are, don't be afraid, oh, I'm gonna get mud. Okay, I like brown. Brown's a good, cool color. Mud isn't a bad thing. Muddled is a little bad, but you know what? There's no such thing as wasted paint. Try your weird combinations together. Just try it. The thicker the paint, the less muddled you're gonna get. That's why I go for thicker paints when I'm doing a pour like this, because I know I'm fairly confident. I don't know, you never know with, with fluid acrylics or fluid, any kind of art. Um, how it's going to turn out because it does its own thing. It's like, oh yeah, you think I'm going to do that? Well, here, I'm going to do this instead. Screw you guys. Okay, almost done. Okay. 
There we go. That was the other thing that I was working on too, is coming up with a playlist to play while I'm doing these pours by myself. So there's not awkward silence. <laughs> Maybe we have someone join us. Well, hello, Candace. Good to see you. All right. Get a little bit more pink in there. We should be good. A couple of drops there, a couple of drops there. There we go. Push that out of the way. <clears throat> okay. Straw. <laughs> Here we go. You get to see the beautiful back of my head. Okay, put that in my tool cup. I need to get a more stable cup for that because I'm afraid that's going to fall. And we're kind of going off the edge already here. So we're going to tip this back a little bit. There we go. That's okay. And my fancy, super fancy tool. Where'd he go? Where did he go? There he is. I use the back end of my tweezer. <laughs> Some people use a skewer. I don't have one of those right now. So we're gonna bring this guy out. And I am going all the way down to the bottom of the canvas, but I'm pulling it. So I'm pulling that paint. That's why I like this, because it's like flat. It's like almost like a really small palette knife. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this one out. And I am wiping it off between swipes. Next time when I'm pulling in, I won't. So we're going to pull in here and here. Actually, I am wiping it off. I think old habits they hard. Okay, and then this one. And this one. And now we're going to do this one, this one, I think we got, oh no, we need to do this one here, and this one here, I think we got them all though. There we go. Messy hands. <laughs> oh, the joy of being an artist is you get to get messy and it's part of your job. It's so awesome. Okay. I don't see any chunks or bumps or anything like that. I am going to torch it really super fast because I do see some bubbles. And I just want to pop those bubbles before I leave my plastic down. Now I am using painter's plastic because one, my plastic wrap is not big enough for this. Two, I don't have any napkins that are big enough for this. And three, well, it's painter's plastic and I've got a lot of it. So, <laughs> now, let's do a little bit on the edge here. I'm gonna make sure I got the edges covered. Cause those are like the hardcore parts that get neglected in the end. All right, here we go. So I'm just gonna start it at one end and lay it down. 
And I don't care if there's air bubbles, because I'll work those out. And I'm just going to lightly press the air bubbles out so we get good contact. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of squishing from the inside out. See, there's a big air bubble right there, so we're going to push that guy out. To the edge. There we go. There's another air bubble right there. We're gonna push him out to the edge. That's the only thing different between the plastic and using a napkin like Fiona does is the air comes out of the napkin. So you're not having to but my hands stay clean. So, our plain ish. With the napkin, I've had so many rip. It's just unbelievable. And the painter's plastic is nice because you can get a big, gigantic roll for like 40 bucks, but it'll last you like 40 years. I kid you not. I've had the, sa the same roll of painter's plastic for like five years, and it's only halfway gone. And I use it for everything. Okay. So you just want to make sure you have contact with all of it. You see any little air pockets. It's okay. I found out that it's okay because it just kind of leaves a, a, a bright color behind. But we are going to do it the same way. I'm going to pull up each corner. And I just leave it as low as I can until I'm ready to lift it all the way off. And try and find the center. And bring in these corners. Eh, it's sticking to me. In this corner. In this corner. And then we're just going to slowly pull. And then at the end, we're going to give it a little twist. There we go. Ta-da! Put that right in the bin. Now, I've actually taken that and <clears throat> put it on another canvas that was already wet, and it looked kind of cool. Um, that was just me playing around. I didn't record that one. That was just me playing around. And I ended up painting over it anyway. But Okay, so what I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to take and I'm going to torch this. There we go. There we go. And I'm going to take my little wire, and there's a couple of spots that I'm not really keen on, like that guy right there. So I'm going to take him as soon as I can get it to. Fit in my hand, right? There we go. And we're just gonna kind of, eh. There we go. Well, maybe. There we go. I'm gonna pull him out right here. Same with this guy right here. I don't like him. And I always say guy. I don't know why I say guy and not girl. Probably because I don't want to offend anybody. But if there's guys in the chat, I don't mean to offend you either. I guess I need to just say I don't like them. Maybe keep it gender neutral. And I'm going to bring this up. And these are really subtle, really subtle movements, really subtle pulls. If I really didn't like something, I would go in with the big end. But I just want to kind of give it a little bit more movement and it's just subtle changes. You don't need to go in there and be all <laughs> You don't need to get all metal on it, okay? <laughs> just let it do its thing. And they're just subtle twists, subtle turns on the edge of this.
So I'm going to kind of sharpen like this here. I'm going to take some of this pink here. If I can get my hand to cooperate. There we go. I'm going to take some of this pink here. And we're going to move it through that. And I think I'm going to do one more, but we're going to do it a little bit wider. Because I want to kind of make that make sense. Right here, we're going to bring this guy out. There we go. And we're going to do this guy here. That little cell's kind of bothering me, even though he's purple, and I love purple. He's just kind of bothering me right there. So we're going to take a little bit, and we're going to make him into a heart. There we go. So now these blurs have something solid in them, like this one here. We're going to come in deep with this one. And we're going to make that make sense. Happy little wispies. I'm going to come back in here. There. Happy little wispies. There we go. So I want to make sure that I have paint on my corners because the corners dry faster. I'm not worried about the edges. Drippies are okay for me. Let's bring this up for a close up. You know what? I'm actually going to go back in here. Give me one second. I'm going to go back in here because this. Wow. Come on, work with me. This doesn't make sense in here. There. Now it makes sense. Kind of. That's better. I like that better. And as, whoa, where did you come from, Mr. Chunky Chunk? Hang on. We're going to bring this guy out and through that chunk. There we go. Sometimes you get these weird little chunks of just one color. If it was two colors, I'd be okay with it. But when it's just one color and it just looks like I dripped paint, I don't like that. So, like these are starting to happen. I don't know. We're just going to let it go. So, let's bring this up so y'all can see. Let's see. I readjusted my camera again. So, hopefully. Okay, I'm going to lay this on my arm because I'm going to. Those of you who are new to the channel, I'm not afraid of paint. I get paint. You should see me. I go grocery shopping in my paint clothes. I don't care. Of course. When I'm with Michael, I don't usually because, you know, I want to look nice, sort of. And they'll look like a hot disaster most of the time. All right. So I love how it goes off one edge. So maybe we can kind of move it around a little bit. Encourage it to go off. See, now it's going off that edge. And we're going to bring it back. Move it around. And I'm not moving it so the cells stretch. I'm just kind of gently rocking it back and forth. And I'm hoping you guys can see the metallics that are in this. Because they are phenomenal. I'm hoping the camera picks up something other than glare. Okay, we're going to walk this guy back. There we go. There. Get him back off it. Oh, let's put this in there. There we go. 
go. He'll find his way. We'll just let him go. He's really, really pretty. Yep, and oh, but yeah, it does open up the cell, Cheryl. It doesn't. I'm not stretching them. I'm just kind of giving them some footing. That pink is just. It's got a subtle metallic to it, so it must that magenta must have been a mostly opaque, uh, at least a semi-transparent, semi-opaque. So yeah. All right, let's bring this back where it needs to be. There we go. A little bit down. There we go. So that is that. And thank goodness I didn't drip in any of my any of my paints. I'd have to watch this one. He wants to be all wonky. Still don't like that right there. And sometimes you just push it to the, you know, push it a little bit. Like I just pushed it over the paint and now I'm pulling it back. So you're opening things up. You're um, giving it an opportunity to flow in places that it wouldn't normally flow. And you're getting paint on your arm. <laughs> Okay, so if you have any questions, please get a hold of me um, or head on over to Patreon and check that out. Um, there are some more perks that I'm going to be adding. There's going to be some that I'm taking away um, just because I'm, I'm kind of going in a different direction with it. But um, that's one of the focuses for this weekend. And look for the website. Um, I ran into some hiccups because... I am technically challenged <laughs> and I'm not computer savvy. So um, I screwed up a bunch of stuff. So I had to go back in and change it. Darn it. Um, HTML is not my friend. <laughs> so um, that's coming hopefully this weekend too. So we'll see. We'll see if I can fix it all. Um, I can only work on the computer for a couple hours each day, and that is one of the things that I work on. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Join us again next week at 9.30 Central Time, and we'll be doing some other um, type things. If there's any questions that you wanted me to cover on this live stream, let me know in the comments below, or message, um, head on over to Facebook and join our Facebook group, and just let me know, because, you know, I can't read your mind, y'all. And I love to help you out. So um, thank you so much for joining me. Join us tomorrow night at 7 p.m. when I bring my pal Brooke on for Friday Night Flip Cup, where we do the same colors in different flip cups in different parts of the country <laughs> and see what kind of shenanigans and goofiness we got going on. I appreciate you. Be careful out there. Remember, be kind to one another. Peace, love, and happiness.